Let's do another example. In this example, we need to design a 3-bit counter with enable. The counter has a max output signal, which becomes high when the counter reaches 7. Let's draw the state diagram. So we can say this is my S0 and this is my S1. So I have an enable signal. If I start from S0, if the enable is 0, I will be going back to do S0. If the enable is 1, then I will be going to do S1, right? So we can have S2 here, and S3, S4, S5, S6, and S7. Right, in all of these states, if the enable is 0, we stay on that state. If the enable is 1, we go to the next state. So if I have a melee output, when I go from S6 to S7, if there is an enable, I will be also giving an output. Let's say I will be saying max is 1 here. Right, in all the other cases the max will be zero but this is for the melee but if i use the more output right whenever i came here i will say my max is one right so this is the more approach okay so we could also draw our state table so that we will be finding out our next state logic and output logic so in this case i have eight states so i need to have three bits Let's call them A, B, and C. And I have an enable here, right? So right, let's say this is my A, T plus 1, B, T plus 1, C, T plus 1. And I have an output max. Right? So we could have max. Let's say this is for the melee. So this is a melee output. And let's have another max. And let's say this is also for our more output. So the first thing that we can do, we can just write all of our states let's write all possibilities so this is my 16 possibilities right if the enable is 0 and my state is 0 0 0 so this is my s0 right so if i am in s0 if the enable is 0 so my next state is again 0 0 0 so in all of here i will be staying on the same state because the enable is zero i am in s0 here so if the enable is one and i am in s0 the next state i will go to s1 right zero zero one so if i am in s1 and if the enable is one then i will be go to s2 so this will be s3 and this will be s4 right so from s4 to s5 s5 to s6 s6 to s7 and from s7 to s0 right so let's look at the max right so in the melee if the enable is zero i will be getting zero here the only place that my max becomes one is if i am in s6 and if my enable is one i will be getting a one here and i will be getting a zero here so let's look at the move so i will be having zero 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 here so more does not depend on my input it only depends on the states so whenever my state is s7 i will be having one here and also here i will be having a one here so this is how the melee and more output changes for this example note that the more output is one in two places and melee output is only one in a single place this is because the more output does not depend on the input okay now we need to find our next state and output equations for the next state equations we need to use the Carnot maps i will not be finding the next state equations for a, B, and C, and I will let you find these yourself. From these Carnot maps, you can find the next state equations. Then we will have a like a next state logic here, right? And then this next state logic will go to our three flip flops, and then we have our clock signals here. So this is my enable input. This enable input will go to my next state logic and it will also go to output for the melee right so let's say this is my a this is my b and this is my c flip-flops so for the melee output what will i do i will be getting state six right so this is one this is one and this is zero and this is my enable so if this condition is true this will be my max output and this is the melee output okay so for the move i don't depend on the input and i will only be taking this a b and d whenever three of them is one i will be getting a max output and this will be my more output so the only difference between melee and more here is on the output logic right rest of the circuit is the 
same. So we could also do the same circuit using an adder. Let's say I have a 3-bit adder. Okay, so this is my 3-bit adder. Then I will have a flip-flop for this output. So in this circuit, this flip-flop output will be AT, and this one will be BT, and this output will be CT output, right? So this will be implementing my present state, and we will be using this 3-bit adder to implement our next state logic. So in this finite state machine, we have a counter that counts from 0 to 7 whenever there is an enable. So basically in the next state logic, this is what is happening. We are taking our present state and we are adding 1 to this whenever there is an enable. So we can say we are doing an addition here and then we are getting our next state values. So this addition is done whenever there is an enable, right? So then I can replace this one by the enable. So I can write this. So this is our next state operation. So in that case, what I can do, I can connect my AT to B2. I can connect my, I can connect my BT to B1 input of my adder and I can connect my CT to B0 of my 3-bit adder. So I took care of this part of my operation. Now I need to connect my enable, right? So I can connect my enable to this A0 input of my adder and for my A1 and A2 inputs I can just connect 0 here. So for carrying I can also put a 0 here. Now the outputs I will be connecting S2 to my A, S1 to my B and S0 to my C. Why? Because C is my least significant bit and A is my most significant bit. So in this circuit whenever enable is 1 I will be adding 1 to my present state and then my next state will be appearing at the other outputs then this next state will be captured at my present state at the rising edge of the clock and we are assuming our flip-flops are positive edge triggered flip-flops now we have implemented our next state logic let's implement our more output and i will be basically taking this a b and c and i will be adding them so this will be giving my max output for the more so in the melee finite state machine the output will be 1 when my present state is 6 and there is an enable. So I will be inverting my C output and I will be taking B and C directly. So this will give me a 6 and then I will be ending this with my enable input as well and this will give me a max output and this will be my melee implementation.